All right, before we get started, I'd like to thank Squishy, Vital, Mumu, John, Mirama, Exodius, Dank Joseph, Mistaken Green, Mumu's rank partner, Duck, all the hunters in this video, all the bots that were bullied, and last of all, all of you. Thanks for supporting me and cheering me on every day. I know it sounds like kind of cringy, but hey, thanks for being there. And without a further ado, Race Car brings you the Cowboy Guide. I'm going to separate this video into three parts, lassoing, window tricks, and cool spots that I found with the help of Chinese cowboys. All right, first things first, you all need to understand the auto aim. You see this circle right here? That is your auto aim progress. Once it completes, it'll turn into this little tiny white circle of victory. Once it's this little tiny circle, no matter when you let go, it will auto lock onto them. Though be careful with aiming too far away from the survivor, otherwise it'll go away. But as long as you're looking in the general direction of where they are, the circle will start to build up. And once it's full, it just works. It's like an auto aim. I'd highly recommend this auto aim mechanic method if you're new to cowboy or you're just not that confident of your lassos. It could also be used to intimidate, which you could pull off in high rank because hunters get scared and drop the survivor. You can also use it around corners, which is really handy when they're trying to get out of your sight because you can build it up and like they try to get out of your sight, but you let go and it just goes through the object. It's pretty handy. Though if you get more confident, you can aim your lasso towards the chair and then when the hunter passes through, you can just let go. You have to be looking up though. If you're looking like straight or down, you'll just flip over the hunter. So be careful. Look up and wait for when they get to the chair and then you just let go. All right, before we move on to instant lassos, I wanna show you something. If you tap the skill, you'll get this, this wind up animation and then you lasso. See, you get this wind up and you don't want that. So instead you're gonna do this faster version which requires you to hold the skill for like half a second and then let go. You see how there was no wind up? This comes in handy when you're trying the instant lasso and the hunter's trying to drop the survivor. You want to be quick so they can't do that. You want to give them like no reaction time. So there you have the normal one, but if you do the fast one, look how quick that is. Now, as I said, all you have to do is hold the skill button like half a second, then let go. That's literally it. Just hold it for half a second and then boom, let go. It's so fast, it gives the hunter almost no time to react. In fact, if you do the instant lasso right, they literally can't react. Like, the game won't let them drop their survivor if you do it at the right time. Don't be upset if you don't get the timing right immediately. It takes some time. Cowboy's a hard guy to master. In fact, I'm surprised why the devs haven't given this man like a three-star difficulty. His lasso is so random. <laughs> Next up, we have the window tricks. So the window tricks are kind of complicated, but not really. Um, it only works on like people who are average hunter size. So if they're either small or too tall, it just doesn't work. I'm looking at you, Axe Boy, Spider, uh, On. I think that's pretty much it, but... Oh yeah, Dream Witch Servant, those kecks. Yeah, it doesn't work on them. All right, when performing a window trick, you don't want to do it too early. You want to wait till like after the hunter is almost done vaulting the window and then you let go. Because if you do it too early, you'll you'll smack into the hunter and you won't flip over him. And if you do it too late, you won't exactly get into the window. So you, there's like this perfect in-between moment where you could just lasso when he's about to fall and you just flip over him and get on top. And that is the window trick.
All right, last off, I'm gonna show you some cool spots and cool things that I've discovered and with the help of the Chinese cowboys and from my own experience. Here we have on Arms Factory, the obvious chair that everyone knows about the, through the tiny crack. Next, we have this crack near the corner of Red Church at Breakable Reception. If they get chaired here, you can last them through here. You also have this spotted graveyard, but it's kind of picky at times because, you know, it's like a small crack. And everyone knows you can lasso people through the Red Church window, but you can do it while crouched, which can make you less noticeable. So here's something that not many people know. On Red Church, there's these one spots where you can lasso over. You see this like wall right here? You can actually lasso over it like this. Not many people know about it, but I guess that changes today. There goes my secrets. If you're on Sacred Heart and the survivor gets chaired at this spot, you can lasso them through the Sacred Heart window inside. You want to use the auto uh, lasso mechanic on this one because there's no other way you're, you're going to do that. And because I lasted her in the hospital, the Ripper loses the mechanic. He had no idea where she went. <laughs> so a couple months ago, the devs added invulnerability when flipping over hunters. So that means you can dodge projectiles, dashes, you name it. Basic attacks, everything. The flips make you invincible while you're in the air. So don't forget to use the flips during your kites to help you last longer. Now that Cowboy can lasso the pallets due to the recent buff, you can use it to help you improve your kite. Whether that be lassoing the pallets from an elevation using the auto aim, or using it in a normal or unique way to get away from the hunter. Can't wait for more people to pick up Cowboy and try out new routes and new lasso techniques to improve Cowboy even better. But we'll see what you guys got. If you guys got anything cool to show at with Cowboy, I'd be happy to see it. Also, um, be aware when trying to instant lasso to pallets because sometimes it gets weird and buggy like this. It'll just drag you and you just don't go anywhere. So just be careful, okay? And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, that's pr practically all I know about Cowboy. But thanks for 17k. Thanks for sticking with me through this long journey. Hopefully y'all's Cowboys improve, and he has. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay, okay, lawyer. <laughs>